Okay, so we now come to uh, ground source heat pumps. We've spoke uh, briefly about air to air and air to water. Uh, so it's now the time to turn for the ground source heat pump. The ground source heat pump is going to take its energy out of the ground and it's going to convert that energy through a refrigeration cycle within our ground source heat pump. It's going to convert that low energy to a high energy. So for all heat pump technologies, we look for a good source of energy, whether it's the air or the ground, and we look for a good sink. And the sink is the building. We need a well insulated building. Uh, ground source heat pumps, different types of collection we can use in the ground. Bore holes are normally a very good source of energy. For every 100 feet we'll get one degree extra, so a 100 metre borehole, we're going to get three extra degrees. That's an awful lot for a ground source heat pump. Also we can have collections in rivers, lakes, very good energy, lots of uh, energy within water. And then the third option is to have pipes in the ground. This is a type of a radiator system called a compact collector where we're restricted to the amount of ground we've got or we can use the single pipe that runs up and down the ground. We need enough of this pipe work as normally when we return through the ground source heat pump we're going to be below freezing point so we need enough pipe for it to run its cycle and its circuit and to pick up good energy from the ground. Normally with ground source heat pumps we're looking for those in the winter when it's very cold outside we still get warm temperature in the ground, but certainly warmer than what the air temperature can be. Um, so it's always a case of judging which is going to be best fit for purpose for your property. So that covers our type of ground source collection. We're now going to go inside and have a look at the internal unit. Okay, so we're now inside. We've seen the type of collection we can use. Uh, for our ground source heat pump and here we have it this is our ground source heat pump so this is going to be situated within the building it could be in the garage in a utility room in a kitchen it's going to be on the on the ground floor somewhere so it just looks like a fridge doesn't it it's about the size of a, an upright fridge uh, and this is taking the energy from the outside we can see in the container there it's a small pressure vessel and we can actually see the glycol we can see the color of it that is our level of glycol in there Normally the glycol mixture is protecting up to about minus 10. So when the return pipe goes underground, the glycol has a protection of minus 10. We wouldn't expect it to, to get that cold. But here we have it within this unit. Um, we have in here, we have our circulating pumps for our central heating and to distribute it to a hot water tank. And we also have our controller. This is a weather compensated control. These heat pumps, they have a slow heat up appliance. They're not like gas or oil boilers that heat quickly. So we need this unit to be working on the weather compensation. It's monitoring the outside temperature and it's just keeping our building at a nice temperature, which we require for our comfort. Um, obviously, if we select the building go really cold, then the heat up from the heat pump is going to take some time. So it's working on this weather compensation. It's just like having a little man in there. As it gets colder, we need more energies turning the thermostat up for us. So it's all being managed for us. Here we have the weather compensated control. This would all be set up by the uh, by the commissioning engineer. And there's very little then for the end user that they would need to do. You could just raise the temperature slightly or turn it down if you want. Otherwise, all the parameters have been set for how that customer wants to run their property. So we can see this small light is glowing at the moment. That shows the heat pump is running and that is our ground collector. So it's circulating that glycol through the ground and bringing that energy from the ground back into our ground source heat pump. We also, it's producing central heating at the moment. We have a tap symbol there. There was a hot water tap, a hot water requirement that would light up. And we also have this backup immersion heater. So it's really cold and we do want, need some extra help. We have that auxiliary heat built in there and it also helps with our hot water to pasteurize the hot water. So even with this screen, after a short while, it will go dark. It's another energy saving device. This is a ground source heat pump.